Congratulations, oh, John, yeah, on making thanks. your 15th Crucible quarter final. Still feeling good? Yeah, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Uh, great, great win. Stuart's an unbelievable player, really tough player. Uh, so, yeah, over the moon, over the moon. It was an epic match that you treated us to. How did you get over the line in the end? I don't know. I, I still felt good, but I, I, I nicked a couple of frames off Stuart. He, he was disappointed. I think he missed two blacks off the spot when he was just ready to win the frame. And I managed to come back and, and pinch the frames off him. So when I was 11-9, the pressure then reverts a little bit onto myself. And I, I felt the next two frames, I, I, I seized up a little bit. Uh, Stuart played well. I, I just felt as if I, was, I wasn't getting through the ball. I was, I was bashing it. But I managed to regroup a little bit at the next two frames and played two pretty decent frames. You look like you are enjoying yourself out mm -hmm. there. There have been moments this season where you said you haven't. Mm -hmm. um, does that feel different now? You're enjoying it again? Yeah, no, listen, I, I put a bit of work in before coming here. Now we we, we Anthony and, and Stephen. And I've, I've put some work in, so I was coming now prepared better than, than I have the rest of the season. So, uh yeah, uh, it was good, it was good. Next up you've got Neil Robertson, who's yeah. being touted as the favourite. How do you prepare to face him then? How do you stop him? Who knows, I'll wait and see. Uh, listen, he's, he's not tournament favourite for, for, no, for no reason. It's, it's took a great a Sullivan to deny him in a couple of big finals, or he could be sitting here with maybe six tournaments under his belt. He's playing with a lot of confidence. He's got to be tough to stop. Uh, I've just got to get in and play my own game and, and see what it takes me. He's having such a great year, isn't he, at the moment, personally, on the table. He looks like he's back to his best. What's it like playing him when he's like that? Difficult, yeah, very very difficult. Uh, he's a type of player that I, I'm sure he, he'll, he'll add more world titles to his CV, I'm sure. Uh, he's too good a player just to be stuck in, stuck in one. Uh, I just said in an earlier interview there, he, he could be winning world titles in any era whether it was Davis, Henry, or Sullivan, whatever, because he, he is that good. Uh, he's had to learn the game because I think when he first came over, he, he, he was a bit raw and he, he, was, he reminded you maybe a little bit like the, some of the Chinese boys that just went for everything. But he's, he's obviously knew he had to learn the game and that's what he's certainly done. He's, I know he's played a lot with Joe Perry and I think he's a good student. He's a great student of the game. He watches it, he picks up on different things. He asks people about things to do and, and that's what makes him the champion as today so every credit to him. You're never the underdog though are you here? I'm well, certainly tomorrow yeah certainly tomorrow which rightly so so hopefully that that can that can do me well. It's quite a quick turnaround as well what do you do uh, from here to now do you just rest? Um, well listen I've, I've said it for a few years coming here the schedule is absolutely bonkers I mean I, I, I know some second round matches are played over three days, but crazy, crazy the way it worked out. I, I, I don't understand how some matches can start after my match and finish before me, which it happened today with, with the hawkins Kyrie Wilson game and uh, the Ali carter Zhao Yulong. It was crazy, crazy schedule. We, we should have finished in the afternoon mm -hmm. and they should have finished tonight to give them a little bit of a break. Uh, but yeah, uh, it still baffles me how to this day that they can mess up the schedule so much, I think, yeah. Do you not think you'll have enough time to rest? Oh, no, no, room? yeah, no, listen, no, you, I, don't, I don't mean that away. I, I'm just saying it baffles you sometimes the way the scheduling goes, but no, the, the, the good night's sleep, and then I play in the afternoon, which is good. And the good thing is with the quarterfinals, uh, they're over two days, which is good. You, you're only going to sleep once, whereas in this match, you're going to sleep twice for a second round match. I, I, I definitely think they need to tweak it and I think they need to, to put the second round to a best of 21 or something and then, then you could probably get the second round over in two days to go to sleep twice for a second round match, it's no, it's no ideal.